All right, so here's the tank. Got it finally set up. Here's the top. Uh, it looks like the screen top we got here is loose currently because when they ship it to you, they do ship it loose just in case you got to figure out um, the lighting spacings and things like that. So they do ship it like this. All you got to really do is obviously, you know, take the, uh, the tinsel out and that way you can tighten it up and get it all popped back down in there correctly. So it is aluminum. Um, it is fitted for the tank if you want it on there. Obviously leave it on there. If not, you can take it off. Um, don't know exactly if I'm going to keep it on here. It all depends on the rest of the fish stocking that I'm going to do. But for right now, this is going to be up here. One other thing I want to show you guys is this overflow lid on the tank is uh, aluminum. Uh, looks like it's got some pieces of glass to go ahead and keep it in place. But that's really the plumbing there. And as you guys can kind of tell, um, this is all glass overflow <clears throat> uh, with a plastic weir. The weir is not removable, but uh, it does look like we can clean it pretty easily here. The teeth aren't very fine, but we'll, you know, the only time, time will tell on this and we won't figure this out until, you know, obviously the tank's running and there's uh, some type of bacteria or something in there that's gonna get caught up and get some algae. So let me take this back off. But what I do wanna show you, it's all smoked glass as far as the uh, overflow box is concerned. Um, there is, going to be a main drain and a backup drain and then there is the uh, returns that come through so that's going to be next on the agenda is to go ahead and get this thing plumbed um, as far as aquascaping goes we're going to go ahead and get started on that too i'm going to take you guys to go and take a look at the rocks well let's take a look some more here at what we got going on so this would be the control board you have all your switches and panels and everything that go in and if you pull this little tab here door swings open and you have a nice channel system to guide all of your cables through uh, one thing i did do uh, before i set everything up is since this is a peninsula they really expect you to be able to access both sides of the tank uh, unfortunately where i set it up uh, there is a panel that splits this whole area in half so i took that panel out to pretty much give me the entire space here which i'm going to put all of my electronics and um, reactors and everything in here we'll see what i can do with it once i start you know moving things around but for right now what i'm thinking is it's more or less is going to be electronics equipment um, dosing what i will show you is if you guys can kind of tell right here there's a couple holes that they have drilled and that's all for the uh looks like it's for dosing uh, so they have some pre-drilled dosing holes it looks like um, also two holes for the plumbing uh, which we will go ahead and get that taken care of and just any other equipment that you want to run through so nice touch on that um, the bottom of this tank is also vinyled and white so this is what it looks like from up top so this is the equipment chamber i'm going to call it pretty much the equipment cabinet close that up and then we're going to go ahead and move on over here to the sun um so real quick let me do this here let me show you guys so all the doors on this whole thing actually swing open so we have those three doors there this door here also swings open and one of the doors in the back also swing open so <clears throat> what we have here is we have the plumbing and let's see if we can take this out without damaging it thank you little person all right well, we're not going to set it up right at this very moment, but you know what? We'll see how far along we get in this video here without boring the heck out of people. 
Um, so this is going to be the sump. Uh, I'll get some dimensions on the sump and put that in the description for you guys. But here we have obviously the drain. So we have four filter socks, uh, four four inch. Looks by looks like maybe by seven. Or this is for this is for the filtration. Um, so the filter socks come through. I see a lot. Because there's four of them. That's why there's a lot. A lot. To filter out particles of food and waste that come from all the fishes. So moving on, we have the next chamber here, which is going to be for your um, what we want to call this macroalgae. If you want to put chato in here or anything else. Uh, they do make this baffle removable, so if you wanted to just disregard using any kind of algae or macroalgae or anything like that in here, um, you can definitely take this baffle out and do whatever you would like to with it. So it would be macroalgae and then your skimmer chamber, your reactor uh, chamber here for any of your, let's say, media reactor chamber, whatever else you would like to put in there. and. This last one here is all filtration boxes. So if you have like carbon, GFO, uh, things like that, they go down in there and you can actually pull them out. You're gonna try to pull that out now? All right. So you can see they, they do slide out. Well, we're not gonna take them all out because we gotta put them all back in. And they do slide out, and they are individual chambers. Uh, as you can see, you got all the holes at the bottom. And yeah, you put whatever you want to in there. You can put biomedia, uh, like I said, carbon. Obviously, if you got something smaller in those holes, you're gonna wanna use some sort of uh, a mesh bag to kind of keep everything in place. And then once she gets all of that plugged back in there, well, actually, while she's doing that. And then this particular chamber here, which, much easier to access and see over here is going to be the auto top off so uh, what I can tell you I believe this is a 15 gallon auto top off chamber um, a lot of their other systems that they do have uh, have auto top off chambers where uh, it's, it's incorporated with the tank when you get up into the bigger sizes then they they provide you with a separate reservoir for that um, obviously, if you guys get it, like I said before, everything's ready to go. You just need to provide your equipment and sand, rock, and water. Um, so you, all you need is a pump, pump from here to wherever you're, you're going to plumb your auto top off and then that'll get that taken care of. Um, I'm handling my auto top off a little bit different on this system. Um, when I get it all set up, you guys will see and I'll go over everything for you there. But let me take you to the return. So here we go, here goes the return chamber. So after it goes down through the media here, comes up and over, and this is your return chamber, which is obviously gonna have a, have a pipe that's gonna go through either here or here, um, once I get all the plumbing in there. And there is, and there is actually a manifold that goes, move my finger there, from that clip at the top, and clips down so that way you can have your media reactors running off of the same return pump if you like so they do inc include that with the plumbing uh, so they give you a manifold i think there's two two valves on that but what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to go ahead and get this plumbing set up all right guys so here goes the plumbing and a couple things kind of stand out here on this plumbing um i don't know if you guys have seen it but really let's go over it real quick based on just all the plumbing pieces that were in the bag um, looks like we have the drain side of things here. So we have our, our stand pipes that go in the tank, uh, from the tank. Um, looks like we have an emergency and a main drain here. Now that I'm looking at it. So that's the, that's the main drain there. And then we have, uh, this one here, which is the emergency. And then obviously one of these two is going to be the main one is going to be the backup for the emergency. Um, looks like same thing here, which I'm going to have to try to figure out. Oh, okay. So this is going to go this way into this pipe and, uh, the other one's going to go, hang on, let me fix this. The other one's going to go over here onto this pipe for the drain. So these are just 
pipes that go down into the sump. So that's the drain. Um, here's the thing that I want to look at. So we have the manifold that I was talking about. So there's three valves on the manifold. Um, and then we have our return system here. So we have this uh, flex tube. Uh, it looks like it's a one inch. Yeah, looks like it's a one inch flex tube that is gonna connect to this piece here for the return. This is gonna be the connection for that manifold. And here's gonna be uh, the dual returns back up into the tank. Now, the part that I didn't, well, I'm gonna pause there kinda. The part that I'm kinda puzzled about right now is their choice of connectors in the tank. So keep in mind, these are gonna go um, at the bottom of the tank, the screw for the return lines coming back up into the tank and out of these here, which I believe are three quarter inch, like two three quarter inch lines uh, for the return. Um, this is my only concern right here, which are these metal uh, clamps that they have. I don't know if this is gonna be underwater, um, after I do the stand pipes in the tank and everything. It looks like it may be underwater. If so, I, I don't know what the folks at Cade were thinking. I would probably suggest using plastic if you're gonna do that. But we won't know until I get everything in there, kind of get an idea as to where these pipes are gonna stop versus where these pipes are gonna pick up. Now, if it's below the water level, I can see some idea in doing that. I probably won't keep it this way. Um, mainly because <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever had these wonderful ties. They rust over time, that gets in your water, and you're gonna cause all sorts of havoc and problems. So that's the plumbing uh, so far. They do put a little tape on the uh, rubber seal here so you don't lose it. Uh, same thing with this guy here. Part of that is because you gotta tap everything down in there. So without rolling everything off and breaking it, Let's go ahead and get the tank plumbed real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, looks like I'm gonna work top down um, on this. And as you guys can see, you have the four holes. Um, so your two on the outsides are gonna be the return lines and the two in the middle, one's for your main drain and one will be for your uh, backup drain. So let me just go ahead and stick my hand down in there and see if I can get some of these plumbing pieces uh, fitted in here properly. All right guys, so we got the plumbing all done. We got everything. Uh, plugged in here as you can see I use the uh, left left drain hole here for the main drain that is the emergency drain um, these are going to be the returns here excuse me this is going to be the returns and uh, I did not use those um, those metal clamps on this because it actually does fall right below the line it's in. Uh, they had included some metal clamps that held on to these lines that are going to be for the return. Oh. And that's not good for the fishies or for the corals or anything. So down here now, so we have the return lines coming down and the drain lines coming down. Um, what I completely missed was the fact that they have this here, which is supposed to be for chillers. Um, it is a half inch line uh, from the return. Uh, if you guys do want to set up a chiller, uh, they did put that that particular manifold in here, uh, which is really what this chamber was for. So they had this big opening here, uh, which is for the chiller that would sit on either that side or this side, depending on whichever side you decided to use. And then it would be able to vent out the back. So when doing the plumbing, uh, if you guys get to this point here, if you do get one of these tanks, just unhook everything, um, run these pipes in. This one runs inside here. And then we come over to the other chamber 
uh, pretty much where the sump is at. And here we have our drain line with the gate valve on it. And we also have the supply line or the return line coming in. So it's a one inch return line into looks like three quarter inch uh, fittings there. Um, only other thing, a bit of excuse me, bit of concern here is how this is set up to hang. It's kind of for me, it looks a little bit wobbly. I don't know, but we'll find out once we get everything running in here. We'll see how all of this works. Um, I may, depending on all of what I'm going to do, I may just go ahead and cap this off and not use the uh, not use the manifold on here. But again. That's once I get everything running and see how this whole thing flows and what equipment I'm going to put on here and what I'm going to uh, set up as far as everything else. But that really is the plumbing. Here's the sump. Once again, with more lighting here. And um, pretty much I'm, I'm okay with everything as it is right now. I'm not too thrilled about the, uh, the metal connectors that they use for the return lines. I wish I had that, you know, they would have done something different there. Um, not really sure on what their thought was on this to be honest with you guys but this is going to be the video on um, plumbing the tank and just the overall sump setup uh, next video i'm going to go ahead and put out is we're going to go ahead and start doing the aquascaping on this um, i got a couple hundred pounds of rock to go through and get that all squared up for you guys uh but other than that man hope you guys enjoyed the video let me take you one more step around here Close this and this. Move all my nice lights out of the way. Not break the glass. And here it is. Alright, till the next time. I'll talk to you guys. Peace.